What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this Wednesday night, uh, July 6, 2022, about 8.33 p.m. California time. Getting in a little bit late here tonight. Had a few things I needed to do just a little bit ago. Latest quake shows a 1.1 earthquake into the area of California. Seen a little bit of activity ramping up there today. All right, I want to cover uh, just real quick. I'm sure you guys heard about this throughout the social media world today about the Georgia Guidestones monument being uh, well, sabotaged, blown up. Um, well, it is no more. Looks like uh, early this morning, uh, somebody planted some type of explosive device on the Georgia Guidestones monument there. And... Um, Elberton is an area where it's at in Georgia and uh, it, it blew up one of the stones and they, it looks like they considered this a safety hazard so they went ahead and demolished the entire thing. So if you go to Wikipedia, um, it talks about how uh, Georgia Guidestones were <laughs> in past tense. So this area is no more. Um, it comes weeks after a Republican candidate for governor uh, claimed the Georgia Guidestones are satanic and called for their uh, demolition. So there you have it. Um, no more. Uh, looks like it was a roadside attraction built uh, from granite in 1980. There's quite a bit of conspiracy around this stuff about keeping the population uh, below 500. I think it was 500 million and, and a whole bunch of stuff. But... Um, these are no more so there you have it some interesting news there coming out of georgia a big quick shout out here to the members here of this channel uh, these are some of the most recent channel members here alicia uh, alicia thanks for joining just joined it looks like uh, mike uh, melanie pamela Catherine, maria pamela conley ray addington Still in SoCal, 42, I'm Jesse, 02, Julie Curry, Seismic Koi Wolf, Robert K, Robert V, The Fly Lady, John D, J. Fuentes, 347, Albert Sanchez Jr., and Dolores. Thank you guys for becoming channel members there. So I, I kind of give the shout outs there to those um, members. Every once in a while, we kind of like to recognize those folks. Thank you again for being a member. Uh, activity, what do we got here? This is a 2.5 map and above. The latest quake shows some activity into the area of the Markleyville region. Now this is just south of Lake Tahoe. And uh, this area has seen a little bit of swarm in recent past, uh, past few months. And if I remember right, they had a uh, a five pointer strike up here a few months back it may have been a year or so ago now so a little bit of aftershock sequences following that earthquake uh, today within that region 2.8 uh, this here is the all magnitudes map now so let's go back to 2.5 kind of want to discover a couple different spots uh, movement around long valley super volcano uh, has been pretty minimal they did have a 2.9 earlier this afternoon but if you look at the all magnitudes here a couple of small earthquakes uh, away from the Long Valley caldera, kind of away from the swarming area that we noted uh, over the past couple weeks or so. Movement around the uh, boatfish. Bodfish, I believe it is. Boatfish. Um, one of the two. 3.5 and a couple other aftershocks here throughout the day today. Um, looks like it's north of the White Wolf Fault Zone. It is at the southern end of the Sierra Nevada Mountains. And also the Garlock Fault Structure. A couple sleeping giants down here in terms of uh, releasing big energy one day. Garlock Fault and the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault. Not to mention all the other spider web complex faults in Southern California. I mean, it's, uh, it's a very dangerous area in terms of massive amount of people living in it uh what do we got down here in the uh, borrego badlands area getting a little swarming at the southern end of the uh, san jacinto fault zone this is the anza section uh, a little bit of activity around mexicali again today but overall swarming has kind of died off in that area uh, movement up north here looks like we're getting quite a bit of increase in activity here 
along the southern end of the Cascadia, getting a line of movement here uh, right across the southern end, as I noted. A 1.6 at 18 kilometers deep. This one here is back just right smack dab, though, on the Cascadia Megathrust subduction zone itself. A lot of times we do see these deeper earthquakes and trimmer down dip downstream, such as this one, 18 kilometers. But that's kind of getting up there. Uh, it's kind of stretching up towards the locked area that sits just up a couple kilometers further. And there's a uh, quite a bit of strain on the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, last mega quake on this area was over a 9.0 earthquake back in 1700. So things have been stressing quite nicely in that area, kind of winding the spring up, so to speak. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map here real quick while we're on the um, trimmer department. Looks like, yeah, a little bit of earthquake act or uh, trimmer activity, I should say. I don't say earthquakes. Trimmer. 108 epicenters. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness, came out of the blue. <laughs> I think that's a, maybe the fifth time now in history I've done that while, while I was live on the air. Crazy. Uh, 108 epicenters, mostly down here at the southern end. Uh, that could be contributing to some of the activity that we're seeing offshore in Northern California. So uh, kind of back building upstream here on the locked area. 108 epicenters tonight. All right, back to the earthquake department. Some movement up through Seattle and um, throughout the uh, Montana and Idaho area. Texas, Oklahoma, not a whole lot going on. Sweltering out there in the heat and humidity, right? Um, still better than California, though. Uh, Great Smoky Mountains out here around the Pittman Center. Tennessee, an earthquake uh, late last night at 2.4 struck within that region. Nothing going on around the uh, South Carolina area. Today, anyway. Uh, Puerto Rico, some earthquake activity, but uh, no major movement. As far as activity from, from uh, this early from this early uh, earlier update i should say uh, we haven't really seen any further push of movement in this area uh, i still think we're kind of uh stuck so to speak on this area building strain up uh, there's a couple areas to watch we haven't seen further deep movement here in the fiji or tonga region i think once that happens we should see continual earthquake activity uh, to the west here but uh this has been very quiet let me pull up the um the EMSC model and see what we have. Because the USGS is only going to show 4.0 and above, and sometimes they don't even show that. So around the New Zealand area, see what they got here. See, there's a couple earthquakes here being reported, 4.4 and a, another 4.4. One of those was just uh, earlier this afternoon. So... Again, USGS just kind of leaving uh, those folks out. Not for sure what uh, what they're doing or why they're doing it, but uh, it's been I think it's been ongoing like that for a couple days now, if not a couple years. Um, but sometimes they do show that ac activity down there, so I'm not for sure what's going on. Uh, let's see here. Again, Fiji Island zone not showing a whole lot of movement up here into the Tonga Trench or the Kermadec Trench. One earthquake out here in the southwestern portion of Australia with a 2.7. There's definitely earthquake activity out here, but in the three range throughout the uh, Philippine area south into the Indonesia area. Movement up and down the um, South America region. Quite a few threes in there, including a couple fours. There's almost always earthquake activity up and down this region. The Gulf of California has shown some, some type of activity as well in the 2 and 3 range. But uh, like I said, a couple, you can kind of see these couple spots here. These This is normally an area that's always moving, so to speak. Always getting uh, deep earthquake activity out there. So it's been a few days, been a little while. So watch this area pretty closely. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. Puerto Rico just keeps bumping up here. They added another earthquake um, since like the minute since I checked it 3.1 coming in uh, into the southwestern portion of Puerto Rico up here around the uh, uh, Dominican Republic area had a 3.4 as well just a little bit earlier Atlantic Ocean pretty quiet someone mentioned over here about uh, 
Looking at areas around uh, the Bangladesh area, not a whole lot of earthquake activity, at least on the USGS map. EMSC, we can check that out real quick and see uh, if we got anything within that region. This area does see a little bit of activity, but uh, nothing showing up here on the map, um, at least as far as the EMSC model goes. So I'm not for sure exactly which agency covers that region, but as uh, far as the Java Trench, the Andaman Sea area, uh, looks like the swarms kind of tapered off a little bit, but uh, just don't let your guard down in that region either. Could see things pick back up. Yellowstone National Park, not a whole lot of activity to report, folks. Things are at best are minimal. And minimal, I mean nothing, absolutely nothing going on there at Yellowstone National Park. Solar weather activity, kind of getting excited for this. Um, the expected G1 class storm that was forecasted here. Uh, throughout the day today and tonight is no more. It looks like they've dropped it down to a four. And I doubt if that will even kick up to that level for the KP index of four. So uh, I guess it completely missed us. Uh, these guys are claiming uh, geomagnetic storm watch was in effect for July 6th when a coronal hole stream was predicted to reach Earth. However, geomagnetic activity remains quiet. The solar wind speed is low near uh, 305 and the bz component of the interplanetary magnetic field is pointing slightly north it is possible we could see an increase during the next 12 hours um, i doubt it things are looking uh, pretty calm on the aurora forecast on the live data uh, the real-time solar wind i'm not, not seeing any type of uh, event kicking up as far as the elevated speed or the uh, density here things just kind of look neutral so I think it missed us completely, folks. Completely. Solar flare activity. It is growing. 3053 and a new developing sunspot around the bend here. So we're going to get into some massive uh, sunspot regions that will be facing Earth in the coming days. And they're growing pretty rapidly. Uh, right now, it looks like 60% chance of a C flare. 15% chance for an M flare. X flare remains at around 1%. Uh, but I think... Uh, I think we need to keep an eye on that region. Watch it pretty closely. All right, guys. I am going to bounce out of here once again. Um, a big shout out to these folks here. These are channel members. Uh, channel members are something new that we're doing. We're uh, doing some drawings each month for these guys. Uh, little perks, little special icons and, and extra videos that these folks are entitled to by becoming a member. Uh, nothing changes as far as everyone else here on the channel. 75,000 subscriber giveaway is coming up, so make sure you guys jump in on that. But uh, the members that like to join, like to see stuff other than earthquake activity and and uh, um, space weather activity, uh, are definitely more than welcome to come on in to the Earth Master and the Missy Mimi's world. All right, guys, we'll catch you a little bit later. Have a good night out there and stay safe. Peace out.